Since when did English become a basis for someone's intelligence? Because apparently we don't speak English here and that you just need men to rescue us. So if we use Tabo or Bidet, and just imagine a clean meow meow and a clean ash. We're spicy. We're delicious. We know how to take care of your man and ourselves. A very small portion of women who need your men to live. But if you are going to speak about the general population of empowered Filipinas, honey, please. We chose your men. It's not that your men chose us because we speak little English or that we don't have education. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. I got a good one for you today, guys. Before I get into it, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you get my videos as soon as I release them. I want to let you guys know what's been happening recently on these YouTube streets, also social media streets, right? Now, recently, Daily Wrap Up Crew, they released a video on TikTok. And it was a video where... A lady, lovely lady, right, from the community, said that women, guys are going out to the Philippines, you know, Colombia, Thailand, to find women that can't speak English, women not educated. When you pay attention to the passport rolls, like, they're getting women from, like, the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm -hmm. like, women can that can speak very little English. And women have been sounding off. Women that don't have it, education, not, women that, that you're missing, need you're them, women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. I have those reactions for you right here, guys. I'm sure you guys probably seen it, but if you haven't, you know, definitely take a look at this. And guys, I just want to give a shout out to Daily Wrap Up Crew. Everything and these other from, communities, from yeah. birth, from I their father, like from their mother, <laughs> how to be a wife and how to support your man. Actually going in on this and they let the woman know, you know, why guys are leaving. Women that need them. It's not even women Every, that need them. It's women that treat them with respect. You know, they were totally against these women bashing the country. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. Stop. <laughs> no, like, stop to stop. Know that's don't. Not but all they know is speak first, ask questions later. And that's not the way to be if you're not in the streets. You know, definitely in the Filipinos don't play that. So we're going to see Let's get right into it. From like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like oh. women can that can speak very. Since when did English become a basis for someone's intelligence? Tell me. And if you want to know why men from your country travel to other countries to find someone who's more caring, loving, and respectful, it's because of women like you. Mm. Guys, and you see that right there? I can't even give my, my, my reaction to this, really. It's going to be them reacting. Let's continue. You pay attention to now if you see this here, this is not really a reaction, but it is in a way. It shows top 10 English speaking countries in the world as primary or lingua franca, right? So shows top is India, more English speaking people in India, the United States. United States is two, Pakistan is number three, Nigeria is number four, the Philippines is number five, right? There are tons of people that speak English in the Philippines. And, you know, the brother from, from um, Daily Wrap Up Crew broke it down. I watched their live stream. They were speaking for about an hour or two hours. And he said, you know, they should have stood up for it more. But you guys did fine, right? You guys were already defending it. You guys already know that that's not on you guys. And Filipinos, as you already see, from the reaction to your TikTok, they're going to light it up. That's how it is. The Philippines is very patriotic. And these women learned the hard way. You know, even I even found out the woman had to private her TikTok. I don't know her name, but she had to private her TikTok because Filipinos will cancel you. You won't get canceled by Twitter. You won't get canceled by Instagram. You won't get canceled by YouTube. You'll get canceled by a whole country of Filipinos. <laughs> it's really that serious. But let's continue. Women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have it, education, not, women that, that you need them. All right, so I've been seeing a lot of videos like this one where African-American women are just so aggravated towards um, passport bros and Asian women because apparently um, men from Western countries have just decided to pack up their things, fly to Asia to find a wife. You were right. 
now they've started to attack us Asian women and I'm someone who comes from the Philippines so I'm just really surprised because now they are calling us uneducated they are calling us unable to speak in English so I'm not really sure what language I'm speaking now emotional damage because apparently we don't speak English here and that we just need men to rescue us now you know all those statements are wrong in so many levels but what really disappoints me is this so, you know, these African American women, these are the ones who actually like yell and scream about discrimination and racism all their lives. But what are they doing now? I mean, practice what you preach, please. When you practice what you preach, and what you turn the other cheek. Been the argument from a lot of, I, I can't even react to all of these videos, but it's been the argument of a lot of Filipinos are saying that, right? There's even some Filipinas that are going in talking about personal hygiene. Let me see if I can find it for you guys. This is also why they prefer Filipinas. When we take a dump, we don't wipe as well. We wash it with soap and water. It does not matter what we use, if we use towel or a bidet. And just imagine a clean meow meow and a clean ash. <laughs> That's perfection to men. And you know, it's crazy. I've been reacting to videos, right? In the YouTube community in the Philippines for years. And that was one thing guy talked about in videos. I've talked about it as well, right? When I first came over here, my lady used a towel and washed with soap. The fact was just splashing but soap it all. And that watered it. Splash. I use towel. Yeah, right? Oh, it does wonders to where a woman is not extra sweaty. Well, if she is sweaty during the day, she gets it out when she takes a pee, right? She puts the water down there. And that's a known thing. Guys love it. Because especially if you have a bidet. Activate bidet. Yes. They had all those parts. And I know a lot of people think it's nasty, right? But I use the bidet too, of course. Why would I not? I, at first, I was grossed out by it. But it really cleans you down there. So even during the day, I'm walking around feeling good and smelling good. I remember Kevin Samuels. And I got I gotta give the brother uh love because he would always talk about it. I'm gonna be I hope I got a clip. Hope I can find a clip. Because he talked about it. He said, you know, guys with personal hygiene, he said, guys, you need to take a wipe and go through there. But out in the Philippines, I learned to use a bidet. Spray up in there, or you take the tabo, put the water down there. And sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit raunchy down there, I'll use soap and water myself. And I picked up that hygiene. In the Philippines. So, Wash your bottom well. Now you're a Filipino. So it's a low blow to women back home, but I can't lie, y'all don't know. But some of y'all do know, and some of y'all have the bidet, especially if they're Filipinos or go to a Filipino household. You'll see that tie bowl, or you'll see that that bidet, and you'll say, "Okay, I'm using that." But anyway, guys, I got more here. There's more. Oh, there's more. This one here is a firecracker. Let's go. Hold up what you say about the Filipinas only understanding very little English. Listen to this video, girl. I'm going to give you a rundown, okay? Filipinas with very little education. Oh, honey, please. Please. Please tell me that you can only speak about us if you can be better than us. And clearly, you are so insecure because we take care of your man better than you. We understand perfect English as much as we speak it. And for one, a Filipina like me, for sure, for sure, has been to more countries in the world than you. The only place you've ever been with a mind like yours is the back of your man's truck. Emotional damage. Hold up. I am being insulted. I'm just going to defend myself, son. Go inside the room. Listen to me. Do not insult us Filipinas because you know nothing about us. All you know is that your men are picking us over you. But then again, we kind of prefer, at least women like me, prefer hard men all the time. Iba pa rin ang Pinoy. Tony, please get out. I'm trying to school this woman because she doesn't know Jack Toot. I like her. Do you see that attitude? Now... <laughs> I went, I was, um, my brother, Philip, the brother Philip Scott invited me to the African Diaspora channel 
uh, many years ago. This had to be at least five, four to five years ago, right? And he wanted, he wanted me to come on because he wants to talk about why black men need to travel. And it's crazy. It, it, it was in a way like he <laughs> he wasn't, but in a way, it was like he didn't really promote the passport, bros, because he had no idea I was going to say what I said, right? So I'm, I'm on, on the show, and I said, hey, man, you know, Filipinas, similar to black women, right? Because they, they can be fiery. Only thing, only difference is, is they actually participate with them. They do have that fieriness, though. That's what I was saying. You see it here with her. You clearly see it here with her. I said it years ago. But, you know, when I did that show, I was bashed. They said, hey, why would you have this man on? Why wouldn't you have a black brother on that cares about black people being with black people? I know. But anyway, let's go. Don't start with me, honey. I've already made a video before. If your men come to the Philippines or Thailand or any other Asian country, it's because they like Asian spice. We're spicy. We're delicious. We know how to take care of your men and ourselves. And we age well. Why do you think that is? Mm -mm. Why do you think they like us for our skin? They like us for our hospitality? Or they like us for the things we do? That we can tell you on TikTok because we might get banned. <laughs> so don't start with me. Hmm? Don't make an entire case that, oh, because we're so less. That's why they like us. No, honey. No, we're not less. In fact, we're more expensive. But then we can afford ourselves. You're talking about a very small portion. A very small portion of women who need your men to live. But if you are going to speak about the general population of empowered Filipinas, honey, please. We chose your men. It's not that your men chose us because we speak little English or that we don't have education. Honey, hmm. you know I could die. Why don't you ask one of your Filipino friends to translate this? Ayaw mi glabda kay dili mo mga lami. Baho pagibog ilok kung di mo kaligo. Kami bisan pang pila ka adlaw lami mi. Dili mi ninyo mapil ni mo na ko. Ako ninyo maghilo mo. Ingat. There you have it, guys. There you have it. That's the Philippines. In a nutshell. Right? You guys kind of see why I'm here. Smart. Beautiful. Um, take care of you. Right? As she said, <laughs> like hard men, right? I mean, now you see why we're making content telling other brothers to come here for seven, eight years. Right? A lot of men have been. Even before the passport broke thing took off, guys seen. But I don't know what's going on. Women thinking they can talk about any woman, like how they how they want to. Oh, that doesn't happen with the Philippines. One thing I do know, there's definitely more to life than that. 